We're going to look at a product now that's really captured our imagination. We have here a single computer which can power many workstations. This is Userful Corporation's Discover Station. It's a plain old PC, but it's running special software that allows you to run multiple terminals from a single PC. So even though we have only one computer here, it can actually power up to 10 workstations. So 10 people can browse the net, send email, listen to music, or write a letter all at the same time. Now these systems are designed for public computing, like for internet cafes, for hotel lobbies, airport lounges, or even oil fields. Now it's really for any place where people need to access computers and of course especially the internet. But individual personal computers are not ideal. So why have we chosen to show you the Discover Station on a show that's all about environmental responsibility? Because this is a green dream <laughs> machine. First up, power consumption on one PC is much less than the consumption of multiple PCs. In fact, last year, the Discover Station saved us all over 13,500 tons of carbon dioxide emissions over what would have been generated from standalone PCs. Now, that's the equivalent of taking 2,300 cars off the road. Now, if 1% of the world's computers were shared by stations like this, it would have the same CO2 impact as taking 26 million cars off the road. But not only do we use less power, but also less energy and less waste in manufacturing. And here's the key. You can also repurpose older PCs for this task because the Discover Station runs Linux. And as we showed you last year, Linux is a great way to get more life out of older computers. So the Discover Station is a great option for reusing older PCs that don't really make sense on the desktop anymore. So we had better have a look. Now what we're gonna do here is just to show you how flexible the station is, Caroline's gonna be working and having fun. What are you gonna do, browse I'm, the net? Yeah, look at some YouTube, I like the videos. Okay, yes. she's gonna browse the net, do some YouTube. We're running this off the same computer and I'm gonna do a demonstration for you showing you we'll be doing separate sessions and using the same computer for accessing the net at the same time. So this this is the Discover Station's desktop and you can see here we have prepaid access, you have free access to the internet because you can set this up as a business. Say you're in an internet cafe and you want to charge people access to the internet. Then you use prepaid cards like this one that I have right here and with these cards you can charge your customers for access to the internet. You can set the rate that they pay per minute or per hour or you can also if you say have it in a hotel lobby, you can set it up for free access to the internet for your clients. Now Caroline's on for free right now, I'm going to show you the prepaid access and we'll get into the software. Now this is completely customizable. We'll show you that a little bit later in the show, but you can set this up any way you want with any graphics, with any logos you want, and with any applications running you want. Now you just have to enter the code here on the prepaid card. So I'm going to do that right now. How's it going over there, Carolyn? Things are good. I'm watching some uh, music videos here, some of my favorite artists. Okay, good yes. enough. While she's entertaining herself, I'll continue working hard. So now I've come into the session. And we see here at the very bottom, it tells us how much money I have left on my card and what I'm paying by the minute. So we have that information there. Here's how I exit the session when I'm ready to finish. But the rest of the screen looks like a regular Windows or Macintosh desktop. And it works the exact same way as well. If I want to browse the internet, I just double click on the internet and it's going to launch the Firefox web browser so that I can do my normal web browsing and work that I want to do online. Now you can set up what applications you want. You can set up word processors, spreadsheet, you can set it up any way you like based on your customer base. Now once I'm brought into the web browser, most people are going to want to send and receive email. So I've, they've got preset some of the most popular email clients. So I'm going to go to Gmail here and you can see it works just like your Mac or Windows PC as far as all applications are concerned. We can now enter your username, go start sending and receiving email. Now how's it going with your YouTube videos. Everything's really good and actually one thing that I really like about this station is the keyboard. Now it's really actually quite different because they've set it up so that there is actually a headphone port mm -hmm. set right up into the keyboard so that I can listen to the music on YouTube or listen to different videos or music on this one station and not disturb anyone else and it's actually also got a microphone input so if I want to chat over internet and anything like that they've thought of it. These keyboards are designed from the ground up with public computing in mind. Now besides those audio jacks, there's also a USB port here that allow you to plug in your digital camera if you're on the road so you can download photos and upload them to Facebook or send them to friends and family. Or you can plug a memory key in, which is really important because say you're working on a document, you can either email it to yourself from the system, but you can't save it on the system unless you have a USB key, which will allow you to take your work with you when you travel. The concept of public computing is fraught with issues like security, reliability, management, and cost. 
The userful solution eliminates so many of those issues. Now in a few moments, I'm going to show you the management solution. It's very powerful and easy to manage. And because you're running on Linux, your system is secure throughout. You won't have any issues with hackers or viruses. And just as important, there's also almost no chance that the user's personal information will get compromised. Now, as soon as you end your session, the terminal restarts, blowing away all personal names, passwords, or cookies, so security is a real strength. Userful is a Canadian corporation that's done a great job in taking on the green challenge and they've come up with what I think is a terrific solution. It's so good that it's used across the world in schools, libraries, camps, cafes and military compounds. Now when we come back, we're going to take a look at the business and management side of public computing. Blogs, podcasts, streaming video, you can find it all on our new website. Check out dototech.com.